Hey guys, I'm Isaac and 025 and today we are going to be recording and talking about the top 10 best statted Pokemon as of from up to Gen 5. Now, not Gen 6, I'm sorry, I know a lot of people will be disappointed in that a little bit, but maybe not too bad. Now, as you can see, I'm obviously on a Pixelmon server, but don't worry about that, I'm about to switch over and show you the top 10. Now, you can find these at the link below, and if you don't like them, you can get over it, okay? Uh, and I was upset because Blaziken was not at the top where he used to be, but... Whatever, 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 man. Most of them were legendaries, note to self. So I did not include most of the legendaries, okay? That could be a different video. Step on your face, okay? I'm not doing legendaries, okay? This is regular Pokemon. So, without <laughs> further ado, I guess I can say see you later until the video ends. So, enjoy. I will start from 10 to 1. Yep, yep. Go! Roll the clip! Roll the clip! I can't stand here all day! And as for our top 10 contender for being uh, most best statted is Milotech. Now, there is several different other ones, guys, so don't just hound me on this. But when you go to the site, check it out. Milotech is one of the many 540 best statted Pokemon. Now, these are full of all Pokemon, so I don't if, if my title is deceiving, I am sorry for you. Uh, but, Milotech, I, I, oh my god, I, I used to misjudge this Pokemon in Gen 3. And, I wish I didn't because, look at it, Milotech looks amazing. And, at 540 stats, you can only wonder what the best one is. And, that, that's insane, okay? Uh, Milotech's special ability is Marvel Scale. Now, I've never had really much interest in Marlow Tex until this year, mostly because I played on a RPG server online, and I got into Milotech, because I got a shiny one by accident. Anyway, to continue this, Milotech is just amazing. Wow. You have to use a certain scale just to get it from Feebash, uh, where in Gen 3, you, used to, you just had to raise its beauty all the way up. So, onward to our next Pokemon. Hmm? Hat... At number 9, we have Gyarados. Wow, same same base stat as Milotech. Uh, like I said, there was many of uh, the same ones. But this one is as well, 540. So Gyarados actually isn't a very bad Pokemon to have. But there doesn't seem to be any other on the list that looks like it could really well take Gyarados as well. But at 540 stats, that's amazing. I never would have thought Gyarados would be this high, but it is. Wow, after all, Magikarp's uh, base stats suck. Okay, they, they suck. If you do not evolve Magikarp, they suck. Anyway, Gyarados' special ability is Intimidate, which lowers your attack, your enemy's attack, which is great, because, you know, Gyarados is like, in war fighting, oh, face bloodied up, he doesn't care. He's always going to scare his enemy, and I guess that's why he brought him up here. On to number, what is it, what, number 8? Yeah, number 8, onward to number 8. And then we have Togekiss, wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to level with you, I was never a Togepi fan. There was a time when I was younger where I enjoyed getting Togepi, but after growing up and getting him throughout every generation, it gets annoying. Okay, uh, Togekiss has a base stat of 545. Uh, I mean, I guess if you taught <laughs> Togekiss, uh, Thunderbolt or Thunder, it could easily take Gyarados as of the moment, but why Togekiss? Why? Togekiss annoys me in some ways. In a way, I'm, I'm kind of happy, but in another way, why are you here? It's just hard to say. It can either end up with the special ability of uh, Hustle and uh, Serene Grace, which I think I've had Serene Grace before on my Togekiss, which did amazing. Wow. Togekisses are ridiculous, and they are ridiculously strong, just like our next number seven.
which is Arcanine. Now, I know if Bray120 is watching this, dear God, I will probably never hear the end of it. No offense, buddy. Arcanine comes at 7th place with a stat total of 555 overall. Amazing. Uh, Arcanine, uh, my hat's off to you. I've always liked Arcanine, but I never really used Arcanine. And now I understand why a lot of people use Arcanine. Uh, with a stat, with a special abilities, Flash Fire, as well as Intimidate. Wow. Uh, e even if you didn't know, Arcanine was supposed to be a legendary Pokemon. Arcanine, uh, was supposed to be part of the three legendary birds, and Moltres never existed, but people thought they would get too confused, so they took out Arcanine, gave him a baby evolution, which was Growlithe, and added in Moltres. But it even says in the Pokedex that legend like legends of him so arcanine you deserve that spot and i hope he stays in it when uh gen 7's stats roll over and you get to see what there's is and i'm gonna regret doing this next one okay rub it in my face just rub it rub it all up oh, i hit my mic rub it all in my face okay i get it garchomp <sighs> garchomp has been a royal pain in my <laughs> arsenal for a very long time. Even with my Blaziken in Gen 5, well, upgraded from Gen 3 all the way to Gen 5, and beating Samantha's flipping Garchomp several times. <laughs> it's still funny to me that Garchomp has a total of 600 stat. Wow! That included the legendaries that are in front of it. Now, there is tons of legendaries that overpass every one of these, which is ridiculous, but Garchomp does kind of deserve it. Uh, with the Mega Evolution, Gar Garchomp's just, wow, Garchomp's being a beast, and with Sam Vell as its special ability, it's kind of hard to beat, and I can't remember if it has rough skin or not. That could be one of it, but Baby Shakes will love that. Anyway, uh... Like I said, just check check in the link below. You'll find out. You'll be like, really? And it, the site mentions none of the baby evolutions as of the moment. It's just all top. Anyway, I am done with you, Garchomp. I'm done with you. Get out of my face. On to the number five. And what do you ask is that number five? Well, if you know what the picture is, it's Metagross. Metagross has the same stats as Garchomp. Now look, guys. All these other Pokemon almost have the same stats except one. Which will maybe surprise you, but they're all evenly matched is what I'm getting at here. Metagross is a great Pokemon. I never used Met Metagross. I thought it was too much training. I couldn't realize how to evolve it. And in Gen 3... At the moment, it was too hard to figure out, do I trade to evolve it, or does it evolve at level 45? At the time, internet was very hard to come by, so... Metagross's special ability is clear body, which pretty much means, like, if you try using, like, uh... Say, Sludge Bomb or something, if I'm correct, it doesn't have any effect. Metagross, you are a bona fide badass. Anyway, on to... Number four... Okie doke, and number four is definitely Salamence. I, people don't really like Salamence, but some people do like Salamence, which is scary. Because he, he's got the same base stat as uh, Metagross, as well as Garchomp. Uh, Salamence's special ability is Intimidate, so therefore it's making the other enemy's attack go down even further. So... Just mental craziness, uh, and I would be scared to fight this, and I have fought one before, and wow, like, for 600, you're ridiculous, Salamence. On to number three. Number three is, well, we have Tyranitar. Used to, I didn't like Tyranitar, I don't know what it was, but I always loved Larvitar, which is the baby version of it. I don't, don't don't question me here on this. Uh <laughs> but recently I've gotten to where I use Tyranitar even in X and Y and I've come to love the fellow and figuring out that he has his base stash or base stat yeah 
of 600 is great and amazing and my mic was too close and I I love it uh, its special ability is sandstream which pretty much is sandstorm as soon as you fight anything so yeah my hat is off to you Tyranitar keep on you know rocking and rolling on to number two now I know everybody's gonna expect that Dragonite would be up here this far and it's because he does deserve it. Dragonite is ridiculous and I do have to say Dragonite is has the same base stat as the rest of them, 600. So 600 base stat for uh, Dragonite, sorry, my throat is a little, I'm a little bit sick. Uh, Dragonite is ridiculous and I love him, I mean everybody uses him. Uh, it's not too cliche. He has inner force, which is great, by the way. I don't exactly know what it means or does, because I always forget. Uh, but uh, he he's just overpowered. <laughs> not metaphorically speaking, no. But think of it, if you used all these Pokemon on a team, Dragonite would definitely be one of them. And I have a friend, Gregory, and he loves using Dragonites. And I cannot blame him for it. So, on to number one the one you've been waiting for guys and number one yeah I, th I bet everyone thought it was Blaziken I guarantee everyone who watches my videos knows that I'm in love with Blaziken but it is not it is it is sl slacking oh my god he's always loafing around if you ask me and he's always slacking in order but for a normal type I have to say I am surprised to see uh, Slacking up here this high with a total base stat overall of 670. Now, remember guys, I minused all the all the legendaries, which was like everything. And he came in a good 5th to maybe 6th place in legendary-wise. Uh, other than that, he dominated the rest of them. You take a Slacking and a Snorlax and look at them, wow. Uh, Slacking Special Ability is Tarrant, uh, I can't really remember what that is, but I, th I think it's a douche ability anyway. Now, I do always remember this being in, a, you know, uh, original Jenner here. Even in Gen 3, Slacking was amazingly hard to beat at the 5th Gym Leader, uh, and that was like the whole overall thing you had to do. And, I don't really think he deserves it. I think he's slacking in some things, or you could say lacking, even. Uh, but, yeah, guys, uh, that's that's all of those. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, 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 yeah, so that happened. Uh, huh. Sorry about that, guys. I know most of you are going to disapprove of it, uh, and to make it up to you, I'm just going to get on my Ravnica Slayer, and I'm going to look at y'all, and say, Oh, y'all don't have a Charizard like I has a Charizard. I hope y'all enjoyed this top 10. If you like this video, subscribe. If you don't like this video, then you can go somewhere else and watch more videos. Because I don't care. I'm on a Charizard. A Charizard. <laughs> anyway, if you did like this video, hit subscribe. And if you already subscribed, well, hit the like button. Or if you hated this video, dislike it and leave a nasty comment. I will enjoy it. Give or take it either way because you watch my video like a retard. Ha! Huh. Other than that, bye! Time for a sexy anime pick.